Breaking news, Nigerians finally caught Grant's canoe power at all as sex medical daughter. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Federal High Court in Abuja has granted the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, the permission to apply for an order of man demos to compel the Department of State Service to allow him to have unflittered assets to medical doctors or medical care in the suit mat FHC slash ABJ slash C S slash two three four one slash twenty twenty two seen by Iberi TV. Kanu Chu is legal team led by Mike Ozekome and Ifani Ijefor said he needed an independent medical examination to ascertain his health condition. After hearing an ex parte application filed by the IPOB leader, Justice Binta Inyako directed Kanu's legal team to serve all the relevant processes on both the DSX and its director general, who were cited as first and second respondents in the matter. The IPOB leader said he would require from the DSS his admission records, medical and clinical notes, nursing notes, observation charts, and document documentation during treatment or stay in hospital, laboratory test results, pharmaceutical records, read geological scans, images and reports, blood transfusion records, and rehabilitative treatment records, clinical findings as well as diagnostics and treatment prescribed records. He pointed that, that on October 21st, 2021, Justice Enyako had ordered that he should be allowed access to three persons of his choice, including his medical doctors. Specifically, he prayed to the court for an order granting him leave to apply for judicial review in the form of an order of mandamus, compelling the respondent to allow the applicant unhindered access to his medical doctors, to enable him to conduct an independent examination of his present deteriorating health condition as earlier ordered by the Federal High Court Abuja. The Honorable Justice B. F. M. Iyako on the 21st day of October 2021 and as required by the express provisions of Section 7 of the Anti-Torture Act 2017. An order of this honorable court granting leave to the applicant to apply for judiciary review in the form of an order of man damage, compelling the respondent to avail the applicant with all his medical records from the 29th day of June 2021 till date, contending that Section 7 of the Anti Torture Act. 2017 provided that a person arrested, detained, or undergoing custodial investigation shall have the right to demand a physical and psychological examination by an independent and competent doctor of his own choice after interrogation, which should be conducted outside the influence of the police or security forces, I said. Hmm. You know, when you, when you have people, when you have people as uh, leaders who do not care about their own people, who do not care about the masses, things like this happen. Why I'm saying this is that now Namdekano he is now going to court to ask court to compel the DSS to allow him have access to to his to his doctors 
The same court that have already ordered this DSS to allow him to have access to, to doctors. This man we are talking about has no business as this matter is consigned right now in the DSS custody. Because as far as this matter is consigned, he have no no in fact, he have no business, he have no case in the courts to answer. But the federal government of Nigeria, because of Bad Bele, you know, waiting that they do now, now waiting that they call Bad Bele. This man has been has been discharged and acquitted. You said he should not go. He's still there. Okay, this man is sick. Allow him have sex to, to his doctors. You know, agree. Even the, the drugs that, that has been prescribed to him, you don't still want him to take them. So what exactly this federal government of Nigeria, led by President Muhammad Buhari APC government, is looking for? It's really sad that we have a government who disobey its own law. But tomorrow, you are there, you want to persecute the common man out there. Even the crime committed by the Nigerian government is even enough for them to, to allow this man to go. Maybe because they did not actually have their way. You understand? So they are now using what they are doing right now as plan B. But this will not work out for them because it's a dangerous game they are playing. This man should be given our sex, you know, to his doctors. He should not die in DSS custody because now they, the while are they where? Why the while are they there where they say? <laughs> they don't really pronounce I'm saying be free man. You understand? And if anything can happen to them for that DSS custody, now you say Nigerian government don't enter with that. That is why they should do what they can do to make sure that this man do not die in DSS custody. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you. Mm -hmm.